Hey, 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 g'day everyone. This is just a bit of motivation for all you boys and gals that are looking at or needing to go in and have uh, heart surgery. Um, valve surgery in particular. Uh, that's what I've had done. Uh, I've had my uh, St. Jude mechanical valve in now for oh, about 10 years. And... Um, I self monitor my iron arm levels um, so I don't have to keep whizzing off to the uh, blood bank and getting the levels checked. Now this is me on the bike, um, I've got my two buddies behind me, it's a 21k bit of a time trial section we call it, it's our little TT, the Chandler TT, um, we just have a bit of fun around here, um, it's a good laugh, it's as I say 21.5k's and um, Here's me with my heart rate sitting on around about 155, 160. Um, so it goes to show you that just because you're having heart surgery doesn't mean you are limited as to what you can do after your surgery. Now, obviously, you would also go and um, have a word with your doctor um, and more than likely your cardiologist which is what I did um, before you would go and attempt to do anything like this um, this is obviously um, making your heart work hard so you do need to make sure um, from your doctor that you are okay to do this so when I was looking at buying a bike um, my carbon bike was quite a bit of money so obviously I didn't want to waste um, the money I spent on it and then my doctor said mate you, you can't be doing this so before I actually made the purchase um, I just gave my doctor a call my cardiologist um, and he gave me the all clear he said, Look, mate, he said you're fine to go it will do you good and um, it's good for your heart to, to get up and do some work in it. so all good but definitely before you're going to do anything you must go and consult with your doctor first okay so i've been back on the bike now for a bit over two years um, obviously i couldn't ride at this sort of pace um, when i first started i i mean i'm averaging around 34 and a half k's an hour here um, which is sitting on around at this stage on this particular segment i was sitting around 240 260 watts average so that's a fair bit um, you know to be pushing over this 21 k and I led out for um, the majority of the way on this ride but you can't you won't just jump in and be able to do this you know when I first got back on the bike I was lucky if I could do a 24 average 23 24 average speed around something like this I'd have been absolutely exhausted um, and for the first year I probably took the cycling very uh, steadily because I was obviously I was worried about my heart I was always thinking you know oh, is it working too hard you know especially when you're getting up to 160 170 beats a minute you start to think oh you know is it is it working too hard but look it was fine absolutely fine and I often get my heart rate up around 170 um, and I hold it there for a good few minutes uh, especially when we're doing a big hill climb so it can be done you just have to have a positive attitude and get in there get it done and decide which valve you want to take obviously um i went with the mechanical valve i know a lot of people say oh, i don't want to do the mechanical valve because you know i've got to be on warfarin all my life and all the rest of it but i've been on warfarin for the last 10 years um not made a scrap of difference to me in that time not a scrap of difference so that side of it i wouldn't worry about um, you just have to make your own mind up though and obviously talk to your cardiologist on what you think is best for you um, you can either go the pig valve i guess um, there's lots of other sorts of valves um, or this mechanical one. The mechanical one for me has been awesome and um, I don't see me having any dramas with it and when I go and see my cardiologist which is once a year he always says the same thing absolutely fine 
and no dramas whatsoever. I've now got a resting heart rate. If I sit down and just relax in front of the TV, and I've been sitting down for about 20 minutes or so, um, my heart rate is around about 50 to 54 beats per minute. Um, when I wake up in the mornings, my heart rate is about 48 beats a minute. Now, before I started my cycling, my resting heart rate would be around about 70 to 80. So, regular exercise is definitely going to do you good. It will do you the world of good. Um, for me, cycling is the thing I chose. It's the thing I've always enjoyed. Obviously, I had a massive break from it for 20 odd years. Um, but once I got back on the bike, absolutely loved it. And um, I hopefully will keep doing it for quite some time to come. But you may enjoy running or swimming. Anything, doesn't matter what it is, as long as it gets your heart rate up, that'll help keep your heart rate fit, your heart fit and healthy, and it'll also keep your blood pressure down. Um, it'll do all sorts of good things for you. So, um, regular exercise and obviously eating well. Also, you've got to eat well. You can't do all this and throw junk into your mouth. I keep saying to people, have a healthy, balanced diet with all you need the right fats you need the right carbs the right proteins and you'll be fine just try and steer clear as much as you can from processed food as hard as it is you should just steer clear from processed food as much as you can you won't wipe it out completely but if you can that's first and the other thing is junk food just junk food like mcdonald's for instance and hungry jacks kfc all that just try and limit them you don't have to stop them completely but you just don't eat them every day not rocket science it is not rocket science anyway that's it from me hope it's been of some help to you if you've got any questions or comments you can post them down below